Kia ora, Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Aged Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. Haven't made a video for a while, some of you may know that I've been away overseas, so in this video I'm going to show you what I picked up while I was abroad, and also a whole bunch of boxes uh, arrived while I was away. So I'm going to go through all of that and show you what I picked up, and there's a ton of stuff, and then separately in another video I'll start reviewing, so come check it out. Alright, starting out with stuff that I picked up on my trip, so I went to Disneyland Paris and got a Droid Factory Builder Droid, so that's just the box that it comes with, so it differs from the one that I got in Anaheim a few years ago, which comes with a plastic blister bubble, and this is the little astromech that I built there, out of grey parts, he was really cool, they didn't have any protocol droids in the Builder Droid thing, but yeah, it was pretty awesome to do Builder Droid again. Also picked up these pins just because it says Je suis ton père. I think that's how you pronounce it, but basically I am your father and a Darth Vader pin. So I thought that was really cool because it's a nice souvenir of Paris Disneyland. Uh, then in the, I was really hoping to pick up um, the Life Day Chewbacca, but they didn't have any. But they had a big display of the Pride Droid, so I picked up BBU. Pride Droid, I think he's really cool. So that's what I got from Paris Disneyland. And then I also went to this really fantastic shop in France called Pulps Toys. It was pretty expensive, but they had loads of TVC. Um, I might actually cut away and, and show you a bit of the video of the store. <laughs> How cool is that? So from there I picked up this guy because I haven't seen him in New Zealand yet, Chrysanthemum. This is the Deluxe, not the Deluxe Deluxe, but the Classic Deluxe. Really, really cool figure and there he is out of the box. He comes with a ton of accessories and I think he's just an awesome figure and he's one of my favourite characters from Book of Boba Fett and they've released some amazing figures from that TV show so that's pretty cool. So that's my haul from France. Okay, so while I was away, a whole bunch of uh, pre-orders came rolling in, so that's always the way, isn't it, when you're away? Um, so anyway, I picked up a couple of Darth Revans, so I've already reviewed this figure, so if you would like to, you can check out that video on my YouTube channel, but here's an outstanding figure. This came from Amazon Australia, so I pre-ordered those. Pretty cheap. So really happy to get those and then another package arrived this time from China you can see the import sticker on the back there and it is VC 103 the Republic Trooper from the old Republic so those actually go together quite nicely and it is unpunched oh, there's a little bit of a crease above the tab but Basically I ordered that one because it is impossible to get in New Zealand, so really happy to finally have that one. I missed out on it in VC 1.0. And then another pre-order from Amazon Australia. I got two sets of this awesome Obi-Wan Kenobi show, showdown and Jules End figures. So I got two boxes of that, I got a really good deal on that and I am so looking forward to opening up those and taking a look. And this is the real star of this episode. This box contains a whole bunch of figures that I bought in a bulk lot off Trade Me, which is kind of like the New Zealand equivalent of eBay. It was a few weeks ago now, so um, yeah, I don't remember all of the figures that were in there, but I bought it for some specific figures. So I'll get that down. We'll start pulling them out and have a look, and I'm really hoping they're in good condition because there's a lot of figures in this set. Oh, it's a bit bent. Oh my god, it's really bent. But this is the figure I was after. It is the Sand Trooper. VC-112. And it's an awesome looking car back. But unfortunately, that is just... Bent. Really poorly packed, so I'm very disappointed with that. 
But there's some cool figures in here. There is an OG VC68. So I don't have the original version of that. Still got its price sticker on there, 1999 at the warehouse. Again, nice card, but it's all bent. It's just really poorly packaged, basically. Got Han Solo in trench coat. VC62, 1999, this time from Farmers. Oh, really disappointed with the packaging here, but... Luke Skywalker Indoor Capture. VC23, another 1999. These are all vintage collection 1.0 figures. VC26, Indoor Rebel Commander. Lucky I already have this one carded, so I'm probably going to open that one. Really nice figures, just really terribly packed. Disappointing. TIE Fighter Pilot. VC65, again all banged up. I guess I got a bargain, so I can't complain too much, but I'm really gutted about that Sand Trooper figure being so bent up. Leia Hoth Outfit. Again, an OG VC02, 1999 from Farmers. That's how much they were. Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper. And I don't think I have this one. I think I've got the Empire Strikes Back card. And it's got the Boba Fett sticker. Again, it's bent and beat up, but I'm going to keep this one carded VC41. What a shame, man. Having all these awesome figures and then just biffing them all in a big box, but... Oh, I've got another Luke Skywalker. VC-151, the Medal Ceremony Luke. That bubble crushed. Just why would people pack stuff like this, eh? Another Rebel Fleet Trooper. I've got a couple of these carded already, so I might open them up for my Tantive 4 display. Or Tantive E4 display, as some people say, because apparently that's what the radio show said. VC52, that's a nice card. Not too beat up, that one. Oh, and then these ones I'm going to get rid of. That is a 6-inch Jawa. Let's check out the price. $39.99 in New Zealand at Farmers. So the 6-inch ones I'm not going to keep. Here's an Admiral Akbar. That is beat up as all hell, that card. VC22, but again, there's heaps of stuff in here, and a low grey, again 1999 from Farmers, again the card is not in good condition, but I've got that one carded already, what else have we got in here, whoa, big star collider, very yellowed bubble, but pretty cool. Another 6 inch, this is the Han Solo Bespin 40th Anniversary, look at that card. As I say, I'm going to get rid of all the 6 inch ones, but... Jeez. Darth Vader, Star Wars, 6 inch. Oh, that's totally coming off the bubble. I actually do have that one card, I don't have many 6 inch figures, but I do have that one. And the... Death Squad Commander, again 6 inch, again all beat up, but I'll get rid of those somehow. Oh, and then these are two interesting ones, so I don't have these either, these are Vintage Trilogy Collection, that's the Han Solo, so that's quite a nice one to have, although we are obviously hoping for a new version of that in the Vintage Collection. And finally, another one that definitely needs an upgrade, it's the Snow Trooper, Imperial Snow Trooper. Or well, for you really old school dudes, it's the Stormtrooper Hoff Battle Gear. So I'll probably take it out of that protective case and put it in a different one and pretend it's the Vintage Collection one until that one arrives. I had to lay it down because this week's haul, in its entirety, is absolutely insane. Wowzers. No wonder the wife was like, hmm, you don't need any more Star Wars. Alright, I got my Sand Trooper in a star case, so 
not too disappointing. You can't actually see the massive crease on there as badly once he's in a star case. And there he is with the other sand troopers in the vintage collection so far and I think it's it's nice personally to have kind of completed that little set. And obviously there's an opportunity for Hasbro with that beautiful VC 231 I want to say or 230 the new stormtrooper mold whatever it is to turn that into a sand trooper that'd be awesome as well. Anyway if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching. I'm middle aged Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. Ka kite, and I'll see you on another video.